Ang mabuting balita ng Panginoon ayon kay San Lucas. Papuri sa iyo, Panginoon! Taon-taon tuwing pista ng Paskwa, ang mga magulang ni Jesus ay pumupunta sa Jerusalem. At nang labindalawang taon na siya, pumaroon sila gaya ng dati nilang ginagawa. Pagkatapos ng pista, sila umuwi na. Nagpaiwan si Jesus sa Jerusalem, ngunit hindi ito napansin ng kanyang magulang. Sa pag-aakala ng isa na si Jesus ay kasama ng isa, nagpatuloy sila sa maghapong paglalakbay. Nang malaman nilang hindi siya kasama, siya hinanap nila sa kanilang mga kamag-anak at kakilala. Hindi nila siya matagpuan, kaya't bumalik sila sa Jerusalem upang doon hanapin. At nang ikatlong araw na tagpuan nila si Jesus sa loob ng templo, nakaupong kasama ng mga guro. Nakikinig siya sa kanila at nagtatanong at ang lahat ng nakaranig sa kanya ay namangha sa kanyang katalinuhan. Nagtaka rin ang kanyang mga magulang nang siya'y makita. Sinabi ng kanyang ina, Anak, bakit naman ganyan ang ginawa mo sa amin? Balisang balisa na kami ng iyong ama sa paghahanap sa iyo. Sumagot siya, Bakit po ninyo ako hinahanap? Hindi ba ninyo alam na ako'y dapat nasa bahay ng aking ama? Ngunit hindi na naunawaan ang pananalitang ito. Siya yung muwi kasama nila sa Nazaret at naging isang masunuring anak. Ang lahat ng bagay na ito ay iningatan ng kanyang ina sa kanyang puso. Patuloy na lumaki si Jesus, bunlad ng kanyang karunungan at lalong kinalugdan ng Diyos at ng mga tao. Ang mabuting balita ng Panginoon. Pinupuri ka namin, Panginoong Heso Kristo. Last Sunday, we celebrated the baptism of the Lord, which we received the fullness of life in Christ. Today, we are celebrating the feast of the Santo Nino and the Holy Childhood. Wow! We have two celebrations this Sunday. In today's Gospel, we are journeying with Jesus, Mama Mary, and Saint Joseph. A journey that entails communion, participation, and mission. We can imagine the happy journey of the Holy Family. The journey together from Nazareth to Jerusalem. They participated what is required by their own custom. And finally, deep within their heart, know the mission of God the Father for them. We can see how Jesus entrusted himself to his parents. Being a child, he manifested his love and trust to them. Brothers and sisters, young and old, we are all called to participate in the missions of God, especially in this time of pandemic. As Christian, I urge you to live a life worthy of the calling you have received. As students, professionals, catechists, and preachers. Be a missionary to others by helping them spiritually and temporal. In doing some acts of kindness and goodness to others, we become true God's image that intends to fill us up with His truth, His way of holiness, and His very life. Let God hold our hands in journeying, so as we will not go astray in following His commandments of loving and forgiving one another. And thus, be courageous to profess our faith in our daily life. Children, like the child Jesus, 
be always obedient to your parents and continue to do some acts of charity to other children as you increase in wisdom and age. Once again, together, let us keep journeying. Never lose hope. Hold always the hands of the Blessed Virgin Mary by praying the Holy Rosary and faithfully receive the sacraments, especially the sacrament of the Holy Eucharist, which gives us strength to do our daily Christian life. Have a happy and grace-filled celebrations of the Feast of the Santo Nino and Holy Childhood Sunday. Puso kami sumasamba at nagsisisi sa aming mga kasalanan. Iniaalay namin sa iyo ang aming sarili. Itulot mo na kami ay matulad sa iyong kabanalan. Gawin mo kami maamo, mababa ang loob, matiisin, malinis, maunawain sa kapwa, at masinuwin sa kalooban mo. Hiniling namin ito sa pamamagitan mo, kasama ng Ama at ng Espiritu Santo, magpasawalang hanggan. Amen. O banala sa anggol, kawaan niyo po kami. Viva Pit Senor Nino Jesus. Salamat, Ama, at Anak, Espiritu Santo. Amen.